I'm Paul Hafner, Application Equipment Product Specialist. I'm going to talk to you about another feature on this Terragator C-Series liquid system. With the C-Series, we added in a tank float. So it's given us the level of inside the tank, and we can view that level from here at the reload station, as well as up in the cab. So this gives us a digital readout of how many gallons are in it, as well as the top bar graph will show you how many gallons are inside the tank as well. This gives you a great advantage when you're trying to put on a partial load, not a full load. Inside the cab, using that tank float, it's going to give us a readout on the screen right here so we can see how many gallons are left inside the tank. This helps us out so when we know if I have enough product on board to make it down and back before I need to refill. The tank float also helps us automate our agitation as well as giving us an alarm when the tank is getting low. We'll take a look at the agitation part. So if I go into my agitation button, I can see here now that I can set my full load capacity as well as my minimum or my off point for the agitation. And then I can set how much do I want for agitation when the tank is full and what I want it to go to as it's coming down towards that off point. So what it will do is as the tank level goes down, the agitation will automatically scale itself from my max setting down to my min setting and then turn itself off once I hit my min gallon mark. If you want to still run your agitation manually, all you have to do is switch it to the manual mode. When it's in the auto mode, you will see your agitation icon will have a little A next to it. And that lets you know that it is in the automatic mode. The next feature that the tank float gives us is our tank level. So if I go in here, we can set at what point do I want to be alarmed when the tank level is getting low. Here I have it set at 150 gallons. If my application rate is a little higher, maybe I want a little higher mark, I can touch in the box. I can enter in my new value. And so now I'll get an alarm when the tank volume reaches 200 gallons. Right below that is the reset value. So we want to reset the alarm at a higher point than what our min is. So if I want to set my reset to 250 gallons, so now the alarm will go off once. It won't go off again until the tank volume goes above 250 gallons. If you don't want the system alarming you when the tank is getting low, you simply turn off the tank alarm.